Hello everyone, and welcome back to Defender's Quest. We are nearing the end of the game, as far as I can tell. The end of what is probably the good ending. Right here. I think this will either be the last battle, there'll be like one more right there. So let's just take it on and see what we got. Okay, we definitely... Ooh, reward ends the game. That's scary. I don't... I just don't like the way that sounds. I'm like, I don't want the game to end. Let's try doing this one. What just happened? We're in the halfway world. The people. They're here. What, all of them? Everyone in the pit. I pulled them in. They're safe. But that's thousands of people. How can... Hey, you've been hurt. You're bleeding. No, the blood. The new seal is not completed. You can't let that blood... Uh-oh. That's not good. Zelmir? I will not idly by... I will not lie idly by and watch the monster I fought for so long escape. You murderer. You think that we will... This is not the time. Either we kill him or all is lost. After that, you may take your vengeance. Okay, so this is the bad guy, right? Yep, Etli Tenno. Ancient, legendary wizard. So we need... to... Somehow... Kill this guy. This is also a very strange map. I'm... This is a really weird map. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, honestly. Okay. Weird map or no, we just gotta get it done. Wow, he has like so many health bars. <coughs> it's no use, his magic is protecting him. What can we possibly do? Lady, we are here with you. Until now you've been lending your power to others, but now we lend ours to you. Okay. So we need to get our knights out here. Definitely. They they are necessary. I wish I had more of them. Okay, where's our first healer? Here. Go. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. We've got shadow worms that are about to come out of here, and we can't do anything about them. Okay. 
Okay. Um, this is not good. Okay, we can still kill them. And we kind of knew that, but... Not being able to see them really isn't helpful. It'd be better if he were over here. So I can, she can help with the shadow worms when they get to there, but... He really can't. I can't get him to reach both. There we go. He can only heal Duncan now though and not these two. That's bad. Oh well. It's better than nothing. Really. Oh my gosh. Heal. You need to get boosted up. Oh gosh. I hope that killed it. Okay, it did. That was really close. It almost got me. So we just have to do this until this guy dies. What's this? That one had a weird symbol over its head. Alright, everybody should be healed after that. That's what I have learned. Fully up the healer, I think. Yeah. This guy should have lots of damage be being done to him, but we don't. I don't understand. We're not doing any damage. Why? <laughs> oh, and I've taken damage. I didn't even notice that. Why can't we kill him? Okay. We just need like more going on here, I think, to deal with those shadow worms that I hate. Maybe we just have to reach a certain point before like he starts taking damage? I, I really don't know. I'm trying my best. This this battle doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh gosh, I think it almost took damage again. And we... Oh wow, he doesn't even have the last one. I still can't believe that Caspian doesn't. We're not damaging him. I don't know why. Do the crystals hit him? No.
I honestly think it's something along the lines of, yeah, you just have to reach, like, a certain point before, you know, like, anything happens. haven't reached that point, I guess, where... Yeah, I guess we just haven't reached that point? Yeah, she can't do anything. Okay, we have one here, we have one here. This wouldn't be a terrible place for the last one. Zelomir, why don't you tell us why we can't hit him? I have a feeling this battle's just meant to take a very long time, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, he's being attacked. Immune to like everything. Only extremely powerful magic can lower that. I have nearly everybody out on the board. This is like the only guy that's not fully boosted, but can still be boosted. What on earth is even going on right now? I don't understand. We're not damaging him. That doesn't damage him. The lightning doesn't damage him. The only guy that's not fully upgraded is him, and he can't, I mean, there's not really a point to it. Maybe that's what I need to do, though? I'll try anything at this point. I don't understand. I mean, these people said they were going to lend me their power. Oh, I can boost her. I didn't even know that that was, like, a thing. Oops. My prayers are with you. The power of all of us, united in one. He's taking damage. We have everyone fully boosted now. He's pretty much doomed. Well now we know what to do. I can replay this level afterwards and try and do it perfectly. But we do get to see the end of the game, assuming that we do this. Zelomir is fighting for us now, which is kind of strange. Oh, but he has so many, so many HP bars, and I'm betting each one has more than the last one. Oh well. They're totally boosted. Zelomir is very helpful right now. His 
second. Hot fire is almost done. Very good. This battle alone is taking like 20 minutes. These two more. We're partially done with the first of those two. Oh, this is where he just gets damage just handed to him. Especially when I've got frenzy going on, which I did for at least part of it. Ha ha ha. Oh wow, he just changed appearance. He's like this little old dude. Frenzy it up again. Let's heal. Let's put down this pixel. End might be in sight, guys. Yes. Shall I speak to the dog in its own tongue? The rabble that begged me to be their god now shakes their fists at heaven, poisoning the air with empty threats. In what world can you face me? I am Edsley Tenoch. You are one great being spread over many, but many are united in me. I am their conduit. We will we all strike you down as one. Fool, this is my domain. You may be able to come halfway with feeble steps, but only I can walk the path of the spirit. What's happening? He's gone all the way into the other side. We cannot reach him from this halfway world. There is a way. Peggy, you are like me. You can call others into this halfway world, but with all these people here lending us their power, I can feel it with all our combined power. I can enter the other world completely, and there I will kill the wretched wizard. You cannot do this alone, brother. Take me with you. No, the fault is mine. I will pay the price alone. Rebel fools. You think a dog can... Peggy, now is the time. Concentrate. Go, Zelomir. Finish this. Zelomir survived unharmed. Great, I didn't think that was important. But maybe it was. <laughs> yes. Ooh, yeah, a little animation. Zelomir has appeared behind the feeble looking Etzli Tanoch with a sword. Ooh. No time for words, only time for stabbing! Ooh. He kind of disintegrated like Voldemort did in the last Harry Potter movie. Oh, bye, Zelomir. Peggy, the pit is collapsing! How long can we stay safe in this halfway world? Not long, and if a boulder squishes me, we're all dead. Wait, if I send Zelomir to the other world, maybe I can send all of us. What, all the way over to the other side? Thanks, but I'd rather get squished in the collapse. No, it can work either direction. I can send us back out of the pit, but still in our world. Well, you better hurry up and do it, because things are... Oh. Way to go, Peggy. Elsa, could you take a look at this? It really hurts. Wow, that's a nasty wound. The bone looks broken, too. That should do it for now. We have to sling and splint it in a minute, but first, what are we going to do with all these people? There's thousands of them. We've got a whole army to feed. The local nomads aren't going to trade for scrap. You mortals! I command you to take these disgusting mortal baubles. They stink of your kind. They have no place among the gods. Thank you. What? You misunderstand me, mortal. That was a command. Remove these offensive items at once. Of course, mighty one. So, what will you do now? I've had enough of mortal doings for quite some time. I shall return to my own kind. I must find a mate to teach my children. These crippled wings cannot pass on the glories of flight. Farewell, great one. You, may you always feel the fire's warmth. And to you. I misjudged you, child of fire. Did she just... Well, we won't be starving, that's for sure. We discuss for days. 
Nomad caravans gladly trade food for our gold. The various leaders among the refugees are heard, but everyone is too glad to be alive to argue. It's still strange to breathe free air. Finally, we are all in agreement. Are you returning with us, Elder? I do not know. It's a bittersweet joy to see this day. I, I never intended to live this long. Perhaps your redemption is found not in a single moment of an entire lifetime. You are wise beyond your years, Peggy. There is still much suffering and chaos in the world, and as such, ample opportunity for the Salini. But what of you, Peggy? Can you return to the library? My old life in the library is a welcome refuge from these adventures, and while it is strange to live without my powers, I am glad to feel like myself once again. Yes, I had always wondered where the strange abilities had come from. I believe when Etzli Tanoch tried to corrupt you, he poured a little bit of his own spirit into you. In refusing corruption, you used his own power against him. Now he is dead, and the magic dies with him. It is strange, but I am not sad to see it go. At this point, simple life is an unimaginable luxury. May we all see such luxuries. But I keep you too long. You have much journeying to do. Farewell, Peggy, until such a time as we meet again. May it be soon and often, Elder. Reverend Elder, I owe you so much. If you would but accept the tokens of my gratitude. Elsa, your people need the treasure far more than I. Then accept my invitation. Come see us when the halls of fire burn once again. Perhaps the wisdom of your selenite will be will please the cosmic flame. I would be honored, daughter of fire. I must make my leave now. The way of sel selenite calls me to the suffering. But we shall meet again. Farewell, Reverend Elder. May you always feel the flame's warmth. Peggy. Elsa. Are you sure you will be fine without us? I fear for your safety without the might of the Quaid amongst your ranks. It's a long way to Ash. Bandits, wolves, perhaps a slight breeze could demolish you. And what of you? You no longer have any powers either. I am a Quaid princess, born with blade in hand, and I've practiced the arts of war my entire life. And though the frost was useful, I'm glad to see it gone from my heart. We shall bring glory to the flame as we always have, with sword and bow and strength of arm. And I and the rest of my people shall return to our homes. We will find what is left of our world, and build a greater one on top of it. It's good to see you haven't changed a bit, friend. May you find luck in all your endeavors. And you as well, friend of flame. And may we meet again. Farewell. We have to talk to all of them. This is going to take five ever. Okay. Yo. What are your plans, Naruto? Will you return with us to Ash? Are you kidding me? A life of wealth and luxury? Not while there's still killing to be done. I've been talking to some of the nomad refugees, and they tell me there's a monster in the far north called the Eye of the Rock. He's got like seven heads, each one with seven eyes. You've never decapit I've never decapitated something with seven heads. Plus, from there, I can head a little east, beat the snot out of some more of those blood cultist punks. I only need three more of their blood so close to finish my magnificent turban of violence. I'm glad to see you have a plan. But look at me, talking when there's acts of random violence to be committed. Keep in touch. I think I'm almost going to miss him. Hey! Hey, I thought you were leaving with the nomads. No, I decided not to. I'm just... There's a whole world out there, and maybe some of the other Gekka survived. If so, they're gonna need all the help they can get, or maybe I'll just, you know, wander around for a bit. I think Naruto's looking for adventure. Really? He, uh... He makes a tolerable comrade in arms. And he does owe me money. He went that way. Thanks, Peggy. Anytime. Lady. Egg. <laughs> I love that I named him Egg. The Ash refugees are ready to leave when you are. What about you, Egg? Do you want to go back to the capital? These are my people. Besides my debts, my debt still binds me, lady. I will accompany you until I may repay it. Your debt is paid, friend. I release you from my word. Then may I accompany you as a friend. There are many dangers on the road. I would, All of us would be glad to have you. And I would be glad to be with them. You know... It will seem strangely boring to travel without something trying to kill us every other step. Well, I bet that Tipsy Tiger song will help pass the time. Nice try, but I'm afraid I'll be far too busy no longer being indebted to you and therefore never had to listen to such inane suggestions again. Really, because I have a whole list of inane suggestions. Seeing as we won't be enjoying the Tipsy Tiger song, I might as well start going through them to entertain myself. 1. Stop wearing that purple skirt thing you use. I was doing the purple skirt thing before you and it looks better on me. Hey! 2. Small... House small sugar gliders in your sideburns because, hey, who doesn't like sugar gliders? And they could attack people who irritate you. Three, name the sugar gliders righty and lefty, but keep them on opposite sideburns to confuse your enemies. 
You spent way too long around Naruto. By the way, I've got a couple hundred of these, so it's going to be a very long walk to Ash. Oh, I'm a tipsy tag. Okay, now I'm on foot and in falsetto. <laughs> there we go. Well, guys, that was it. That was the good ending. Oh, we saved everybody. We didn't have to die. So that's good. What happens if we go in and we... Oh, New Game Plus? What's that? I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, yeah, an achievement. Um, there was something, like, weird. Like, back over here. It's gone now, though. I don't know. Oh, well, guys. Um, that's gonna do it for Defender's Quest. I don't know what that new game plus is. If it, like, makes everything a lot harder, I might do some episodes of that. Um, uh, but I'll have to look into it first. So anyway, this has been Defender's Quest. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye